Town crews are working hard to make sure drivers don't get into any trouble. Action News Now reporter Jordan Henry is live in Reading. So Jordan, are there any spots people should avoid? Drivers need to be aware when traveling east along 44 behind me, there are chain controls in higher elevations, so check conditions before heading out. I went to Shingletown today and check this video out. You can see how snowy it is. The cars headed along Route 44 have snow all over them. Caltrans crews will snowplow all across the area to keep the roads clear. Caltrans says drivers need to watch out and stay alert because the weather is unpredictable. Chain controls in a lot of our higher elevations on the route, so uh, motorists need to check roadway conditions uh, prior to travel. We also remind motorists to check those roadway conditions uh, during breaks in travel. Conditions may have changed from when you left the house to even partway on your trip. We've only got about a half a foot up here so far, so it's it's not that's not too bad. It's when you get two or three feet, you know that that. Uh, that gets pretty tough. Except yesterday, I went down to Lake Nora, and uh, and on that road, I had to put it in four-wheel drive. Woodward says he urges people not to travel if you don't have to until the storm passes. And Woodward also says Caltrans workers will be working in all areas of Shingletown, Old Station, and Hat Creek to keep drivers more safe. Live in Reading, Jordan Henry, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. And Woodward also tells Action News now that drivers should give Caltrans workers space while they are working.